It is Dallas race day. What are we? 10.03, we're gonna head into the venue now, so we get there two hours before Meg's race. I'm very nervous, I'm gonna be honest. Good. I don't feel 100%, have my period. <laughs> Probably not the best conditions, but it means Anaheim, I won't, so. Just gotta get in there and give it my best. Come on, buddy, that's so good. What's the strategy today? I have times that I know I, know I can do and I wanna sit as close to as possible, but obviously each race can be a little bit different, so just go out there and run my own race. It's do your best. Mm. And what does it say on your left arm? It says how bad, because at the end of the day, everyone's put the work in, it just comes down to how bad do you want it on the day. Yeah, let's go, come on. I think this is going to be the Hyrox's biggest one day event. They're putting 6,000 people through on the one day. Yo, Muddy, we checked in. The plan is, let's go have a look at this race format. Find out what the lap situation is. And then we're going to go chill them, warm up. Go, go, go. Stay calm, you're doing really well, really well. So well! 
amazing, you're amazing, hold on! Just breathe, mate. Just breathe. That's it. Two fifty five. most amazing husband ever I'm just like, gonna say on. that right now he's so freaking sick and still just wants to go up and show up and push himself like oh great. I, <laughs> he's love, definitely, I love watching you he's definitely been sharing with his germs so I am crook yeah how are you feeling being real I'm, I'm, I'm I've still got I've still got a pretty solid head cold but as in I feel like it's just in my face I don't feel like it's in my body <laughs> I'm also just saying, I did say to him, if he just feels like an absolute bin, he should just stop so that he can recover and do Anaheim. But I don't think he's the kind of person that will just stop. But you got to be smart, as in part of me is kind of regretting racing, but I mean obviously you should never regret, regret but I, f I really feel like I've fully gotten sick now and I just don't want to be sick for another freaking two weeks until Anaheim, so... We'll see how it pans out. Will has such a stacked race. Ryan Kent, Rich Ryan, 
hybrid raccoon, Dylan Scott, and Nick Bear is also racing. Keen to see how he goes, and I also don't feel like it's a fast course, but everybody says that. I just genuinely don't think it's a fast course. Nick over there rocking the mega socks. Dylan the socks. Got Dylan in the socks. Turn him around. Come on. Hey. I reckon Mitch Ryan and Ryan Penn are going to be asking for some. Get <laughs> the best socks out.
terms of my race, I'll debrief it for you. So, started the race and felt fine for the first run and skier. Well, fine. I felt sick, but I thought, okay, I can do this. And then got to sled push and the sled push was so heavy. I think that was a common theme for Dallas was that everyone just thought the push was really heavy and normally sled push is one of my strengths I'm not sure if it was because I was sick, but man that thing felt so bad to the point where the next run after that I was convinced I was gonna pull out which is not my style and I really didn't want to but I also thought I am seriously sick because that felt terrible and then kept going decided that I'd just see how I would go on the sled pull because I have put so much work into the sled pull because in my opens race it was my worst station by far. Got to sled pull, found it so easy which was just the best feeling ever because I seriously have put so much work into my pull strength. 20 seconds faster than what I had intended to do in the sled pull and that was obviously a confidence booster in the race. Got back out on the run and then obviously there's burpees. Pretty much from burpees was when I realized this was not going to be remotely enjoyable because I could just feel, you know when, you feel, uh, you know when you're getting sick and you can feel almost like the aches and stuff? I was just already feeling that fatigue and I just knew it was not going to be good. I genuinely really wanted to stop the whole race pretty much. Uh, but I didn't and I got it done. Burpees were fine, they were pretty fast. Row out was shocking. It just felt really, really bad. Cardiovascularly, it just felt terrible. And because you're just kind of sitting there, it just, it was not good. But got, th got that done as well. Farmer's carry, I didn't do unbroken. Time was probably 20 seconds slower than what I had intended to do. And then lunges, lunges felt really bad too. I did pretty good the first 40 meters and then the second 40 meters I just felt myself fading and war balls was horrendous. Both Will and I really struggled in war balls. We have trained a lot of unbroken war balls hundreds in training and getting to the war balls I was literally doing 15s or something like that because I just felt like I was going to pass out and I know Will felt the same. So it's a little bit of a debrief. My runs felt actually pretty good. I found that the first lap obviously felt pretty bad after the exercise, but the second lap felt good. I was probably five to 10 seconds off the pace that I wanted per run lap, which I'm proud of given that I was not feeling very well. And yeah, first pro time, 105.36 I think it was. Don't quote me on the number. Definitely wanted to do better than that and know I'm capable of better than that. So hoping that I get the opportunity to race in Anaheim. We're just trying to make a decision on whether or not we should race because we are still sick. And we have Melbourne the week after Anaheim as well, which we are racing Elite 15 for the Elite 15 qualification for Doubles Pro. So I'm racing with Joe, Will's racing with Nick. So yeah, I think we're trying to decide what is the right thing for us to do because there's no point going and racing in Anaheim if we aren't 100%. We have already learned our lesson the hard way. Um, in terms of Will's race, I mean, the, the dude shouldn't have raced. I've actually, it was actually really hard to watch him race because I knew how sick he was. I was getting sick. Will was properly in the midst of his sickness. So yeah, that was rough. And I definitely like him to see, like to see him have a proper crack when he's not sick. I did tell him not to race, but obviously if you're like us, you need to learn the hard way because he was bedridden four days leading up to it. So he's definitely not happy with his time, but that's all part of it. I don't, I guess the hard part is when you race and you're sick, I don't feel like you learn that much. It's not like I came out of the race and thought, okay, I learned this, I learned this. We kind of just came out and thought, okay, we survived that race. Now let's get better and didn't really learn that much because we, we just didn't do, we didn't execute the way that we know that we can. So yeah, moral of the story, don't race when you're sick and we're going to see how we go in terms of recovering for Anaheim. Otherwise, Melbourne doubles is where we will be. We're going to be there regardless, but hopefully we'll be 100% by the time we get there. If we don't do Anaheim, we are going to fly home early. So stay tuned.
I also want to add that the highlight to the whole race was actually showing up after I'd finished my race and Will was warming up and seeing Nick Bear and Dylan Scott wearing the Ripper socks. As in, we gave, we met Nick a couple of days before at the speaking event that you would have seen on my last YouTube if you watched. And we gave him some of our pairs. They were actually our very final pairs of 9 to 12s. We've, we got, one of our parcels got returned because it didn't make it to the sender overseas. And we ended up sending that person another, another pair of socks. So don't worry, everyone got their socks. But we got two back. And they are like gold because we're sold out in 9 to 12s currently. We're waiting for our restock. And so we had two final socks for Nick and we gave them to him. He tested them and he said he loved them. So he wore them for his high rocks race and obviously so did Dylan. So getting there and actually seeing, we didn't know he was going to wear them and getting there and seeing him repping them and just thinking, man, that dude knows hybrid sport. He knows running, he knows gym and he's chosen to wear our socks. Obviously we know that they're good, but it just means so much when you see people who are absolutely sending it wearing your socks. And then Dylan goes out and wins. So if you wanna go fast, you gotta wear the rippers and we are getting a restock. We're about to get a restock. So you can jump on and pre-order the, the, we still have some black five to nines left, but we, you can pre-order the nine to twelves. And we also have white in both sizes coming they should be here before the new year. So if you want to give someone a great Christmas gift, this is an unreal option. I'll drop a link in the bio as well. And as always, shout out to CNC Private Jets who helped us make this trip possible. We really appreciate your support and are pumped to see what's to come. Let's go.